Hi everybody, I'm Roberta. Welcome to my home. It's fall, a great time for making comforting, heartwarming soups. And today I'm gonna to share with you my family recipe for a wonderfully rich chicken soup. So let's get started. I have my pot filled three quarters of the way with cold water, and now I'm gonna place my chicken into the pot. You can use any chicken you prefer, certainly a whole chicken or chicken pieces. I prefer chicken wings. The flavor in chicken wings is unbeatable for a rich soup. So I'm gonna place these in the bowl, in the pan. And then I'm gonna generously add some salt. Put the lid on it and bring it to a boil. Now, in this pan, I have the secret to my beautifully rich broth, beef marrow bones. And these look perfect. What I've done is just sauteed them in the pan over medium heat, let them caramelize, and look at all of the juices that have accumulated in the pan. They've released their flavor, they've released the fat, if you will, from the bones. And this is gonna make my soup rich. And you're gonna wonder, what is it that makes it so delicious? That is the secret to this soup. I'm gonna add these to my pot. And then in this same saute pan, I'm leaving all the accumulated juices and I'm adding my vegetables, basically a mirepoix of scallion, celery, carrots, and some fresh thyme. Thyme is key for this soup. It's really delicious. I'm gonna let these vegetables and herbs absorb all the flavors that are in the pan. Just saute them, let them caramelize up, let the celery become translucent, and then I'm gonna add all the ingredients in this pan, including the accumulated juices, to my stock pot. Cover it back up, and I'm gonna let it simmer for four hours. Then, I'm gonna strain all of the ingredients, the chicken, the vegetables, I'm gonna strain it out of my soup, and I'm gonna have a beautiful, golden, rich broth. Okay, this is gonna cook for just a few more minutes more, and now I'm gonna add my black peppercorns. Whole black peppercorns, you're gonna strain those out at the end too. Just gonna cook for a few more minutes. I'm gonna add it to my pot and let it simmer. So you can see that I've got this beautiful, rich broth. I've strained everything out, and now I've brought it up to a boil, and I'm going to place my fresh tortellini directly into the pot of chicken broth. And within three to four minutes, the tortellini is gonna to rise to the top and we're gonna be ready to eat this delicious soup. Well, the soup is ready and I have my taste tester right here having the first bowl. How is it? Oh my God, it's so good. Yeah, Can you, you like pop this for me? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, and you know what? That's a great reminder. I have another tip for you. I always pack my kids soup for lunch at school. All you have to do is take a thermos, put boiling water in the thermos, cover it up for 30 minutes. That ensures that your thermos gets hot and stays hot all day long. Then just take the water out and fill it with your piping hot soup and they've got a wonderful home cooked lunch. I'm so glad I was able to share this recipe for my family's chicken soup with you. And I can't wait to see you again for more wonderful fall recipes. Remember, anytime you've got friends and family gathered, you have an elegant occasion. See you soon.
Hi everybody, I'm Roberta Lombardi, creator of The Elegant Occasion, and I've got news for you. Page Hardware and Appliance Company is having their grand reopening the last Saturday in October, and I'm going to be there cooking up brunch. Join me on Saturday, October 27th, between 10 and 12. Page Hardware and Appliance Company, on the green in Guilford. See you there!